Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can use open source control panel like virtual mean to send unlimited emails. That's right, you can use virtual mean to create SMTP server and send unlimited emails. Here unlimited emails means as many emails as ISP accepts. For example, let's say you want to send 1 million emails to Gmail daily, but Gmail might not accept 1 million emails from your server. So that is the only limitation. That limitation is put by Gmail, not by your server. You can send as many emails as you want, but uh, receiving ISPs might not accept that many emails. Anyway, so enough talking, let's get started. I already have demonstrated how you can install virtual mean on cloud server. I'll put the link uh, top here and in the description box as well. So coming to my computer screen. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to go to obviously first you have to select uh, the virtual server from here and then go to edit users after that uh, in last uh, video I already created one user and in this video I am going to create one more just to show you how you to how you can do that so let's say bounce and then I'll uh, copy this password after that click on create so now one user with uh, email address bounce at the rate inline.in has been created so if I log in to inline.in and you have to connect over port 20,000 to access your email on virtual main or user main installation so now I have opened this URL in my computer. I will open bounce at the rate in learn dot in and the password. All right. So now I am able to log in. Sometimes you might get a problem like this. Let me show you. I took a screenshot like this one so if that is the case this case usually occurs because dev cut couldn't restart itself so all you need to do is to connect over putty and then uh, let me show you you have to connect over putty and then restart the dev cut when i executed service dev cut status command i got this output you can see that a dev cut was not uh, running so i executed service dev cut start and the problem was solved now so you can check inbox sendment and all those things all right now i have created two users and i have username and password ready so let's uh, open uh, gmas and then go to smtp tester let me open the mail tester here and then i'll copy the email id after that uh, smtp server which is mail dot in learn dot in all right now here your port will be 587 and then uh, security none and username will be your complete email id and uh, let me copy it to next field and then you have to get the password so this is the password all right and then click test it now you see message was sent successfully and let's go to mail tester and check the score Oh, now you can see mail tester score is 10 out of 10 and it says you are not fully authenticated let's look at the region okay there is not one region there are two regions basically so one of them is that there is no dmarc record so let's go to virtual main and in virtual main you have to go to 
server configuration and in server configuration you will find dns records and there you have to make one entry and that is of text type all right then click on create record of the type after that in here you have to type underscore d a m r c and then let me get this value okay so copy it and paste after that create all right now this is who all right now this record has been created it's uh, time to look at the second issue which is reverse dns so it says that uh, my reverse dns is something like this all right so what i am going to do is to log in to contabo dashboard and there i will make changes in reverse dns so let me edit it and then it says to change the reverse dns to this node1.inlearn.in it is because this was the subdomain where i installed virtual main so if i go to virtual main you can see like uh, i installed virtual main at the very first time on node1.inlearn.in so everything like host name is also node1.inlearn.in that's why this issue is here all right now i am going to set the reverse dns to node1.inlearn.in and then this issue will get fixed next uh, your message could be improved obviously you have to include list in list and subscribe header and uh, that's all okay so let's uh, do the testing one more time but uh, it could take some time to propagate anyway let's uh, test it and see what's the result wait for some time before refreshing this page and uh, all right so yeah this uh, this will take some time to show up in here anyway so let's uh, go to mail which where i'll show how you can use uh, use these credentials to send emails and therefore use virtual mean as smtp server now if you go to insend.in you can create one mailwiz account for free absolutely free if you already have mailwiz then obviously you can use that so let me log into my mailwiz installation here just to go to this url and you will able to create mailwiz uh, sorry you will able to create uh, an account and you can use mailwiz for free all right now let me log in and then go to servers and then go to uh, sorry you have to first add bound server so you have to go to bound servers and then there you have to click on create new server so it's uh, all right so click create new and then let me get the password all right so copy the password and now here you have to type uh, the bounce address so it would be bounce at the rate in learn dot in and in host name type uh, mail dot in learn dot in or obviously mail dot your domain name dot com and then you don't have to do anything here after that click save now bound server has been created it's a time to create delivery servers and then here you go and click on create new server then select smtp and in host name type mail dot in learn dot in all right then you have here to type your 
email address and then next you have to type the password so let me get the password all right then it will ask you from email so paste it here and then obviously you have to select port 587 then it protocol you don't have to select anything i think it should work okay bounce server you have to make selection and then save changes all right so let's uh, send the test to mail to mail tester all right so okay here it is all right so here is uh, some issue and in that case i will select start tls so just save changes and uh, i think this should work all right so after selecting start tls so now email has been sent let's uh, go to mail tester and uh, do both the job checking score as well as validating uh, server so this one is the html version all right so now you can see the server has been successfully added now you can create uh, newsletters in mailwiz and use virtual main as smtp server and so that's all for this video and uh, in next video i will uh, show you how you can rotate ip in virtual main and uh, it, it's not only uh, possible to rotate ip in virtual main but also you can uh, add uh, multiple domains subdomains and uh, use virtual mean just like you use uh, power mta and uh, postal smtp there is a lot of features of virtual mean which is yet to be explored so stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you